Welcome to Learn More. In the previous lesson, we learned about the characteristics of psychology. And we looked at, we, we learned that psychology predicts, psychology describes, psychology modifies human behavior. Then we also learned that psychology is a discipline. And we, we also learned that psychology studies human and animal behavior and psychology is a science. Then we we looked at the reasons why psychology is a science. What, what are the reasons why psychology is a science? So th those are what we learned in the last lesson. So if you've not got the last lesson, you can go to our channels on Facebook, on YouTube, and look for these lessons, characteristics of psychology. And in the former one, we looked at the introduction to psychology, where we looked at the origin of psychology. We looked at the root word, where psychology is derived from two Greek words. We have psyche and logos. So those are in our previous lessons, lesson one and lesson two. So this is lesson three. And in this lesson three, we are looking at the branches of psychology, the branches of psychology. So having understood the, the characteristics of psychology, we are looking at the branches of psychology at the end of this lesson the viewers should be able to state the branches of psychology so you should be able to state the branches of psychology you should be able to explain five branches of psychology at least five branches of psychology okay so let's look at branches of psychology the branches of psychology are various areas or aspects of life in which psychology directs its study various areas or aspect of life in which psychology directs its study psychology has so many branches like i told you in the previous class that we have so many branches of psychology and in the previous class i can still remember i gave you um, um at least three to four um three to four branches of psychology and i knew i talked about educational psychology so um, I've, I've given you um a preview of what we are supposed to learn now and what we are learning now so we, we looked at some of these branches of psychology in, in our previous class, but we are looking at them in details now. So one of the branches of psychology is developmental psychology. Now, developmental psychology studies the way at which human tends to change and develop over time. Don't forget, it is a branch of psychology that studies the way at which human tends to change and develop over time. Developmental st psychology studies how children grow and develop in time of conception to the time of birth, to the time of childhood, to the time of adolescence, to the, ch to the time of adulthood and old age. So, developmental psychology follows the process by which um, child develop from right from conception to the time of the time of the old age. So we are looking at the, the, the whole life process of a child, the whole life process of humans. That's what we are looking at in developmental psychology. Developmental psychology study the effect of heredity, the effect of heredity and social and environmental factors on humans. The effect of heredity, social and environmental factors on humans. So here it's where we, we looked at, we, we, we looked at, um, how heredity heredity now um being coming from gene the gene of your father the gene of your mother coming together to play a role in your life bringing bringing these two genes together in in your own life forming out a new life now in you these genes are very very responsible to to the kind of person you are yes so uh, most 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 children they 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 develop some genes through um the characteristics of their father and their mother coming together to play a role in their life. So, developmental psychology study the effects of heredity. Heredity now here is um, let's say for example there are some negative gene of of a father of a father and it, the son already has that negative gene transferred from the father. So we could also tell that 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 negative attitude that the, that the father possesses could be able. To could be able to influence the child. So we could also see that same attitude in that child. 
or there are some there are some medical conditions that the father faces and is in the gene we could also say that that condition could be applicable to to that child so this is where developmental psychology comes in the effect of heredity on a child the effect of social and environmental forces on on humans so on um, if I'm trying to explain um, social and environmental forces, I'm saying that, um, for example, if we have um, um, two kids that they are of the same age and one, one grew up in a rural area and the other one grew up in an urban area. So we, we could directly tell you that um, the one that grew up in the city uh in, in in the in the in the urban area would 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 have a very large aspect of his development like he, he tends to develop more quickly understand concept more easily and because he has seen so many things he is 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 exposed to so many so many at amenities of 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 life so these um, children, one of them will have a very high rate of development and the other one may have a very um, low rate of development. You can see they would have different rate of understanding, they would have different rate of reasoning and they could also have different rates of education. So we could now say that these two individuals, their development is not stable. So that is the effect of social and, and environmental factors on the development of that child. So developmental psychology studies emu emotional and attitudinal changes in human as human grow and develop and help to offer solution to challenges. So not, it's, it's not just studying the social and environmental changes um, on human, but it's, it, it also studies the attitudinal changes in human as human grow and develop so that is developmental psychology don't forget i said it's it also studies um it studies the way at which human grow and develop from the time of conception to the time of the old age so that is one branch of psychology we have looked at developmental psychology so the next branch of psychology or another branch of psychology is counseling psychology counseling psychology counseling psychology is an aspect of psychology that studies personal social educational and vocational problems it studies personal it studies social it studies educational and it also studies vocational problem so um, in, in, in counseling psychology, the experts are trained to listen to people and give them advice about their problems. So we have a counseling psychologist. Um, you would always find a counseling psychologist in, in um, so many fields of life. In counseling psychology, people facing social, educational, emotional challenges are given solution by experts. So we can find most of these counseling psychologists in higher institution, in educational sector. We can find them in social gatherings. We can find them um, in so many um, um, organizations. They, they tend to give solutions to, to human. So that is counseling psychology. They, 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 they try to counsel humans. Then we have clinical psychology. Clinical psychology is another branch of psychology. Now, clinical psychology is a branch of psychology that applies the psychological theory in solving clinical problems. So here, um, psychological theory are being applied to clinical problems to provide solution to them. This involves trained experts who use their competency to administer treatment on people with emotional problems such as maladjustment, mid mental instability, etc. So clinical psychology often work in hospitals, in clinics, in mental homes, um, in order to provide solution to to um, individuals in the clinic. So that is that's clinical psychology. They provide solution to humans in 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 the clinic in the hospitals wherever we have some some cases so we have looked at 
three branches of psychology developmental psychology we have looked at um, counseling psychology we have also looked at clinical psychology so we are going to social psychology social psychology is an aspect of psychology which engage in training people to understand their differences it trains people to understand their differences among individuals among humans among groups among people of the same culture people of different culture and so on social psychology studies the difference among people in the same tribe people of different tribe and relationship between them relationship between intertribal connection and conflict resolution so that is for social psychology they are studying uh, majorly people of tribe how people of the same tribe relate to each other how people of different tribe relate and how they could relate better and what could be done in order for them to understand yourself better that is um, social psychology then we have psychometrics 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 is an aspect of psychology the studies and measures human attributes and behavior it studies and measures human attributes and behavior attributes such as love such as intelligence such as achievement such as interest such as fear they are measured with different measurement instruments like interviews like questionnaires like tests etc so like i said psychometry is an aspect of psychology that studies and measures human attributes and behavior so in psychometric we are measuring human attributes like love we are measuring love we are measuring intelligence we are measuring achievements we are measuring interest we are measuring fear and these are attributes of humans so we are measuring them by 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 the use of some measurement instruments measurement instrument like like questionnaires like tests etc then we have educational psychology Educational psychology is a branch of psychology that applies the knowledge of psychology in solving educational problems. This aspect of psychology is used to solve problems related to teaching and learning. Educational psychology directs the general principle of psychology in solving educational problems. Now, educational psychology is an aspect of psychology that, that tries to solve educational problems by using the knowledge of psychology so it drives um, psychology theory in solving educational problem educational psychology explores the following it explores um, it explores the psychology of children and their patterns to response to learning it explores the impact of heredity or and environmental forces in teaching learning and the development of the child Educational psychology is most effective method of imparting education to children. It explores the most effective method, the most effective effective method of impacting education to a child. Educational psychology explores the construction of good teaching techniques. What are the good teaching techniques that could be used to teach a um, child of different level, age, and group? Then it also explores measurement and evaluation facilities of teaching a subject matter how to measure how to evaluate the child how to evaluate the learners when you are teaching a subject matter okay educational psychology also explores psychological importance to a pre-service teacher it explores the psychological importance to a pre-service teacher other branches of psychology includes we have the cognitive psychology we also have the comparative psychology we have the environmental psychology we have psychological physiological psychology applied psychology and industrial psychology so these other branches of psychology uh, there are some other branches of psychology which are not explained in this lesson um you, we, we would would we'll see how we would go about it but we, it's not explained here but these are some other branches of psychology in summary we have learned about the branches of psychology we looked at the developmental psychology we looked at counseling psychology we learned about the clinical psychology we learned about social psychology we learned about psychometrics and educational 
psychology. So in the next lesson, we will learn about the other branches of psychology. We would look at um, cognitive psychology, comparative psychology, environmental psychology, um, physiological psychology. Then we also look at applied psychology and industrial psychology. So these other branches of psychology which we were not able to cover up in this um, video, in this lesson, we'll try to um, cover them up in our next lesson. So I would appeal to you all that you stay tuned for the next lesson. See you in the next lesson.